Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we got to expand and simplify each of these two expressions. So starting off with this first one, notice we're multiplying by three brackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to foil out the first two brackets. So doing that, we would end up here getting 2x squared minus 8x plus 1x minus 4. And then this 3x plus 4 stays over here. And over here we could simplify, so we'd have 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. These two are like terms. And then what we can do is we could foil out these two brackets. So we would take the 3x, multiply it by all three terms in the first bracket. So this would give us uh, 3x times 2x squared would give us 6x cubed. This would be minus 21x squared. This would be minus 12x. And same thing with the four, we would multiply it by all four terms in that first bracket. So four times 2x squared would give us 8x squared. And we'd have minus 28x minus 60. So this here, 6x cubed, then minus 21x squared plus 8x squared would give us minus 13x squared. And then minus 12x minus 28x would give us minus 40x. And this would be minus 16. So that there is your final answer. I don't think there's anything else that we can do to simplify. I'm just checking my answer, making sure it's okay. I'm kind of doing all of this on the fly. So hopefully everything is correct. If not, you guys can let me know. So moving on to the second question, same thing. Now we just gotta foil out all of this stuff. So multiplying the x by all three terms in this bracket, we would get x squared minus xy plus xz, like that. And here, y times x is xy, y times negative y is minus y squared, and then y times z is positive yz. And then this remaining minus z here, so minus z times x gives us negative xz. Uh, minus z times negative y would give us positive yz. And then negative z times positive z would give us negative z squared. Then from here, we just have to collect all the like terms. Well, first off, notice x squared minus y squared minus z squared. There's no like terms for any of those. So we could just write those in front. Minus xy plus xy. Notice that those two will cancel out. And then um, we'll have xz minus xz. Those cancel out. And then we got uh, yz plus yz, which gives us 2yz. And the x squared we took care of, minus y squared took care of, negative z squared took care of. So I don't think there is anything else to do. So yeah, that there is your final answer for that expansion. So this one's a little tougher. And when you expand, I always like to keep the uh, variables, if there's multiple variables, in alphabetical order. Because then it's sometimes harder to see. Because if I have xy here, and then yx over here, those are the same thing, but sometimes it's tougher to see if they're not in alphabetical order. So keep it all in alphabetical order. So basically xy, yx are the same thing, but always write it as xy. And then you could see what all of the like terms are. But anyway, that is your final answer.